So this jogging memory question is all about paper one, topic one. It is looking at hazardous earth and this time focusing on tropical storms. So it's asking you why some countries are more vulnerable to tropical storms than others. As with before, it is an explained question. So you are saying why this is the case. You are being asked for two different reasons. So you need to make two different points and explain and develop each of the points that you have made. Um, the key words in this question are vulnerable to tropical storms. So vulnerable means that it is more likely to be affected or there is more damage likely to occur in that region. And the importance here is it is talking about tropical storms. So it's not asking you about earthquakes, it's asking you about the impacts of our tropical storms. So I've popped three pictures up in front of you. So there are different reasons why some countries are more vulnerable. One of them is our physical factors. So what is it about the natural environment of that country that might mean that it is more vulnerable? Some of the factors are economic, so things to do with the development of that country. So why do different levels of development mean that some countries are more or less vulnerable than others? And then finally, socially, so factors such as education and healthcare within a country. So if you pause this clip for me, have a go answering the questions and then we will go through the answers together. So give it a pause and have a go. OK, so you should have answered those questions. I've got some different examples that you can look at here. So low lying coastlines is a physical factor. So if the land um, in your region is low lying or flat, it is more vulnerable to the storm because of storm surges causing flooding in the region. This could also be uh, made the point about if you are on a coastline, so if you are um, an island or an area surrounded by the ocean, your tropical storms have more power over warm waters, therefore they're more likely to be damaged due to higher winds or higher chance of flooding. The second one is about levels of development, so the economy. Um, if you have lower GDP, there might be less services in place to deal with the disasters such as hospitals, raising up the number of deaths or raising up the impact in your region. Lower education levels means less people are educated about evacuation, therefore more likely to suffer from the impacts as they are going to be in the direct hit of the storm rather than getting away from it. Poor GDP, so a low level income in your country, means that there might be lower levels of technology, so things like predictions and defences can't be implemented effectively, therefore they are more likely to suffer the impacts of your tropical storm. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the clip and found it useful for all your geography revision needs, please hit the like button below. If you want access to more content like this, more revision playlists, more exam technique and feedback, please subscribe to the channel. Regular content will be added and updated to help support you on your GCSE journey.